Hey there folks and welcome to the Jackrabbit Huddle. Today we're going to be making some vegan whipping cream. We're going to need our food processor, some beaters, some natural coconut, as well as a can of coconut milk. A little additional thing we're going to throw in is some of our almond pulp from the almond milk recipe. Click on a link somewhere in this vicinity. First thing you want to do is chill your can. So the best thing to do is put it in the fridge overnight. Or if you're going to make it real fast, you can just put it in the freezer, but you can't forget it. And same thing with these beaters. You want them to be chilled. So I'm going to stick those guys in the freezer real quick. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these natural coconut flakes and I'm going to combine them in the food processor and that's going to kind of make our sweetener for this. You can also add, if you want it to be a little extra sweet, you can put in some agave nectar or a little bit, just a piece or a part of your favorite fruit and the natural sweetness from the fruit will sweeten it up. About one cup of this coconut. Now, I like it a little bit of sweet, so I'm going to drizzle the coffee. A couple drops, a couple drops. And we're going to let her spin. We're using this in place of sugar, so you want it to be really fine, or as fine as you can get it. So this is about the consistency I wanted to take it to. The next thing we're going to do is separate the coconut cream from the water. Feels nice and cool to the touch. If you get a tiny bit of the water in, it's not a big deal. We're gonna get our beaters out of the freezer. Lock them in. Lock them in. And we're gonna whip this up for a little bit first, just on its own. We let that go for a little while. Now we're gonna throw in our pulp and Again. Can you see this creamy goodness? When you reach your desired consistency, you can go ahead and serve it on whatever you want or store it in the fridge for up to three days. There you have it. You got our vegan whipping cream. Put a scoop on top of your smoothie in the morning. And if you don't like the nutty consistency type thing, then you don't have to include the almond pulp. It's just something that I do because I like to make fresh almond milk all the time. And so I like to come up with things that you can do with that excess pulp. And this is one of them. And it kind of makes it feel a little thicker which is what I like the most. So this has been an episode of Tasty Tuesdays here in the Jackrabbit Hollow. Thanks for watching our vegan whipping cream recipe. Hope you try it at home sometime, and we'll see you next time.